In Poland, Catholics are taking Holy Week devotions to a new level. It's a tradition called the Extreme Way of the Cross. Father Matthew Tarczynski says that it began in 2009 in Krakow, Poland, and now 100,000 people participate in 20 countries worldwide. It is done alone or in small groups. There is a rule of silence during the extreme way of the cross in order to better reflect on the contemplations that are prepared every year by Father Jacek Strajzek, founder of the extreme way of the cross. Each person prepares his or her own wooden cross to carry during the stations of the cross. You can do at least 40 kilometers, but there are also routes that are more than 100 kilometers. For example, there is a Holy Spirit route in Roklaw that is 144 kilometers. When you suffer pain, tiredness, fatigue, you can also discover your own limits. This is very important in the movement of the extreme way of the cross, to discover one's limits in order to meet God who is an infinite God. The extreme stations of the cross can be done throughout the year. However, there is an official date which is usually the Friday before Palm Sunday. This year, despite the pandemic, pilgrims gathered at St. Anthony's Church in the Polish city of Gemiani to begin the prayer of the Stations of the Cross in an extreme way. This is Anya's fifth time, walking the near marathon length Way of the Cross. Always at every Stations of the Cross, I feel great closeness, grace and love, immense love. And every Stations of the Cross is different. I can never make up my mind as to know what will happen to me next. Every Station of the Cross is a mystery. For the blessing, equipped with prayer books and wooden crosses, the group heads out for the journey. They stop only to whisper the Stations of the Cross. Then they continue on their way, piercing the darkness with their flashlights in quiet prayer. Despite the pandemic, the tradition continues. Silence is the rule. Challenging weather is the condition. Listening to the voice of Jesus in the heart is the key. They call it the extreme way of the cross, the extreme answer to God's immense sacrifice for us. <laughs>